Hello, I am Luxbrush, and this is my quick thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship's Magic, Season 4, Episode 8, Rarity Takes Manhattan. I really liked this episode. It flowed well, it had a nice feeling to it, great lesson. Even if people take advantage of your generosity, don't let that change you. Still be the generous person you are. The animation in this episode was really fluid. And the expressions, as always, are just getting better and better. More fluid and more expressive. Just little things like the facial features tweaking just a little bit to show just that much more emotion. They're taking chances with little tiny changes in the way the mouth is shaped. And just to give you a little bit more feeling out of that character. Like how a lot of people online seem to be really liking that new pony that was the assistant of the antagonist for this episode. But there were a lot of little things in this episode that kind of felt odd or off to me. Like how people seem to not really treat Twilight as a princess now, even though she is. I mean, for Pete's sakes, a cab driver turned down royalty in this episode. He turned down royalty. She's obviously an alicorn. Anyone can see that. Celestia announced it to all of Canterlot, so it must have spread by now that there's a new alicorn princess in town. Even with a slow mail system, it should have made it to Manhattan by now. That's the only thing that's been bugging me about the season so far is... The first episode was great because people were treating Twilight differently. Like they should. And even her friends learned to treat her the same, but the general public should still treat her like a princess. She should be able to ask for a cab, and get it. I mean, even with her not going, I'm Princess Twilight Sparkle, give me a cab, it should have been obvious that she's a princess. I don't see any other alicorns, you know, around. So that, and the fact that Rarity is throwing around jewels like they're candy, I know she's supposed to be super generous in this episode, but what exactly is the economy like in Equestria when someone can throw around jewelry like that and have people react like, oh, it's a big amount of money, but she's throwing around gems like that like crazy. Really? Just, wow. That's one wickedly weird economy. Also, the design of the lady who runs the competition almost feels like her face is shaped like a vulture. It, it just gave off that kind of vibe to me of, okay, you look like you have a beak instead of a muzzle. The songs were really good. I liked the way they felt. Nice rhythm, good pattern. The only thing that felt off to me is Rarity's voice sounded different to me. It's not its usual tone. It seemed higher and more like the voice actress who plays her part and it's like Rarity than I usually hear when I've heard her sing before in other episodes. I really hope they do something with all the little hints they're leaving us at the end of these episodes. And that rainbow thing with Rarity's eyes and that divider from the audience, and later with the rainbow sheen off of the thread, I don't think it's the thread per se that's an item. I'm thinking it's something to do with Rarity, and I think we may get a change up in the elements of harmony of who's associated with whom. Because that rainbow kind of thing makes me think that Rarity may not really at loyalty, per se, because I may not have anything to do with the color, but I think we may get a change-up of who's bonded with what element of harmony, or we may get something different entirely that has nothing to do with the elements of harmony. It could be new elements related to another positive theme. So, there are my quick thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship's Magic, Season 4, Episode 8, Rarity Takes Manhattan. Thank you to all the people who have been watching my videos, and I hope you're enjoying the art. The views seem to be going up based on the fact that I'm now doing this art, so that's good because I want to do this since I started the channel. So thank you for watching my videos. Oh, and I think I'll pose a question at the end of this video right here. It just kind of popped into my head as I was listening and watching some stuff. Do unicorn cooks have to sterilize their magic between using different types of food items? Or is the magic just kind of automatically sterilized? Well, there's the question. Do unicorns need to sterilize their magic when cooking food? Thank you for watching, and I'll hope to talk to you soon.